one of two women in the novice competition. She is contestant number six. Would you please welcome Amanda Morrison. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Amanda Morrison. I am the auctioneer today for 9 Windsor Street, Parnell. It has been marketed on behalf of Paul and Goldman from our Parnell office. Uh, this property is a fee simple title. It's uh, 341 square metres, lot 2, DP 2149, unique identifier NA 443-66. Tattles are as per the contract. Settlement date is Friday the 8th of November 2014. Please ensure you have received your copy of the RAAA contact and client care booklet as well as, well as the RAAA sale and purchase agreement guide. The property is offered for sale subject to reserve price and subject to the reserve price being met. The highest bidder whose bid is accepted by the auctioneer shall be the purchaser. The auctioneer may nominate of the sum by which the bidding can be raised. The auctioneer may refuse a bid. The auctioneer or the licensed agent acting on the vendor, acting for the vendor in respect of the sale may submit a bid on behalf of any person. The auctioneer shall identify a person so acting before the commencement of bidding. The vendor reserves the right to bid personally by a representative or through the auctioneer and to withdraw the property at any time before it has been sold and without declaring the reserve price. If a dispute arises concerning of any bid, the auctioneer may determine the dispute or re-offer the property at the last undisputed bid. The purchaser shall immediately on the completion of the auction at the fall of the hammer pay 10% deposit and sign the sale and purchase agreement. This property is the lemon delight of Parnell. It is a beautiful home, colonial, three bedroom, two bathroom. It has polished, gorgeous floors, great indoor outdoor flow, and it's just a hop, skip and a jump to the Parnell shops. And if you're lucky and you've got young children, they can go to the Parnell Primary School just up the road and become friends with Murray Smith's children. It is a double grammar zone. It is a fabulous property. You wouldn't want to stick and not take this opportunity up today. It's a, a, a plenty of off street parking, and if you sprinkle a little bit of sugar around, this lemon delight can become your just lemon dessert for you. <laughs> now, are there any questions from the audience? Yes, sir. Uh, not, that I, not that I'm likely to, but if for some reason I change my mind, can I withdraw my bid during the auction? During the auction, if the, you've with, made a bid and somebody passes and makes a higher bid on yours, then that bid is then null and void anyway. So you would then have to sit on your hands and not put your hand up if you did want to keep bidding. Any further questions? No? Okay, shall we get this uh, auction underway? Who would like to give me an opening bid? 500,000. 500,000. Thank you very much, sir. Do I see an increase on 500,000? 20. 20, 520, thank you very much sir. I have 520 here on my left. Do I have an increase on 520? 540? 540, wonderful. Thank you sir. So we have 540. Do I see 560 from anyone? 560, thank you very much. 560 I have here on my left. This is a great property and I'd really like to see someone buy it today. So I have 560 here on my left. Any further increases of 20s? <coughs> Do I see another 20 from anybody? Okay, well we know 520 is just a little bit too, too low for this property to sell today, so I'm going to put forward a vendor's bid at 560, and so do I see any further bids on 560? 590. 590, thank you very much sir. 590 I have here on my left, do I see a further increase to 600 say? 600, thank you very much sir. Do I see 610 from anyone? I have 600 here on my right. 610, thank you very much sir. 610 I have here, do I have a further increase on 610? 610, wonderful, thank you very much. 620. Sorry? 620. 620, thank you very much, sir. 620, I have here on my right hand side. 5. 5. 625, yes, that's not a problem, I can take a 5. 625, I have here on my right, I mean my, on my left. 630 or 635? 630. 630, thank you very much, sir. I have 630 here on my right. We would like to see. 640 perhaps from you sir? I have 635, can we get a 640? 630 it is. Oh sorry, 630. I have a 630 here on my right, so a 640? Or am I only going to go for a 635? 635? No? Anyone? 
Okay, so 635, I can't sell the property at that level just yet. Uh, so I can take fives on top of the, I mean twos, ones. 635. 635, thank you very much. I have 635 here on my left. Can I see a one or a five or a ten? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 500 I'll take. I have three solid bidders here and I need to get a little bit more. Yes? No? On my left I have 635. Okay, 635, I call it once. I call 635 twice. Do I see any final offers on 635? 640? Perfect, thank you very much Sal. I call 640 once. I call 640 twice. One. 641, I like your style. <laughs> so we have 641. <laughs> I would like to call 641 once, because we are now officially on the market. Oh, 642. 642, sir, so we've got competition. 642, 643, thank you very much. I have 6.43 here on my right, and I will be selling it, 6.44. And 5. And 5. 6.44, 500? No, 5,000. Oh, 5,000. 6.45. 49. Oh, sorry, 49. Sorry, 6.49 here on my left. So I have 6.49 here on my left. Do I see an increase on 6.49? No? Okay, at this stage, it is 6.50. 6.50, I call it once. 6.50, I call it twice. Any further last opportunity, 6.50? Sold! <laughs> Congratulations! <laughs> 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 Thanks. Thanks very much. <laughs>